Hello dear students, my name is Dr. Vishali Khai and the name of this channel is Tricks by Chemistry Guru. So today in continuation with class 11th redox reaction, we will discuss about the method of balancing that is ion electron method. In this method, in this uh, video, we will discuss how to balance the equation using half reaction method which is also known as ion electron method. So first of all, we will discuss all the steps that uh, we should follow while balancing the equation. The first is write the oxidation number of all the atoms above their symbol. That means after writing the skeletal equation, we are supposed to write the oxidation number of all the atoms above their symbol. Second is, once we write the oxidation number, we need to find which species undergo oxidation, which species undergo reduction. That means find out those species getting oxidized and reduced. Now, we will split the whole equation into two half reactions. One half reaction is which undergo oxidation, we call it as oxidation half reaction. Another is where reduction takes place, we call it as reduction half reaction. So third step is after writing the species undergo oxidation reduction, we will just split the reaction into two half reactions. Now after balancing, sorry, while balancing half reaction, we need to add electrons to balance the charge. So we need to add electron wherever necessary. So the thing is, if I have uh, some oxidation reaction, then the loss of electron is to be there. So wherever the electron is less, we need to add. That means where we have minus charge more, we add electron opposite to its side. If we have plus, charge, plus size or plus charge more, then we add electron to that side. In simple words, I can say plus jaha hai, waha electron add karenge, minus jaha hai, uske opposite side mein, hum electron add karenge. Next thing is, we need to balance, after just writing the, or adding electrons to balance the charge, next thing is to balance oxygen by adding water molecule. So water is to be added where the deficient number of oxygen is there. And after balancing oxygen, since we have extra or excess of H ion, so we'll balance H by adding H ion in acidic medium or we'll balance using OH ion in basic medium. Now at the end, after adding both half reactions, we'll check whether the final equation is balanced with respect to atoms or charge or not. If it is balanced, if we have equal number of atoms on both sides, if we have equal number of charge, an equal sign of charge, then we can say is the reaction is completely balanced. So using these steps, I have written one common equation, one simple equation, and we'll just try to balance using these steps. So first step says that we have to write the oxidation number. So my first step is I'll just write, let me take a different color pen so that it would be easy for me to express. So this is plus 3, this is with minus 1, this is plus 2, and this is 0. I have already taught you in the previous videos about to find the oxidation number. So the next step says find out species getting oxidized and reduced. So here in this reaction we can say that iron is reduced by 1 and iodine is reduced per atom by 1 into 2. So it would be so iron is reduced and iodine is oxidized. Now the next thing is we need to split the whole equation into two half reaction. So I'll take one half reaction as Fe plus 3 gives us Fe plus 2 and another half reaction is I minus 2 I2. So this undergo reduction, this is reduction half reaction. This undergo oxidation, this is oxidation half reaction. Now the thing is we need to balance the charge by adding electron. So as I told you, jaha plus jada we add electron. As it undergo reduction, addition of electron shows reduction. So that is also one of the way by which we can easily identify. So since this is reduction half reaction, so we just add electron. Addition of electron is nothing but reduction. So we add electron. How many electron? The difference is of 1, 3, plus 3, 2, plus 2. So the difference is of 1, so we add 1 electron to it. Now, here, before adding uh, electrons will just balance the atom. So I am having equal number of atoms on both sides. Now I have minus 2 charge on the left side and 0 charge on right side. You can see 2 into minus 1. So minus 2 charge on left side in this oxidation reaction and 0 charge on right hand side. So I will just add minus 2 and since this is oxidation half reaction so again it shows that it is loss of electron. So electron will be added in the product side. So now the next thing is, once we have split the reaction into two half and we have added electrons to balance the charge, now the next step is to balance O and balance H. Since there is no H and no O, so uh, let us equate these two electrons on both sides. So 
I'll I have one electron on left uh, on this equation and two electron. So I'll just multiply the whole equation by two so that we can equate the two equations easily. So what I do is just write the reaction again: two Fe plus three plus two electron by adding two on each and every species it gives us two Fe plus two. And this side we have two I minus gives us I two plus two electron. Now we'll add these two reactions. So I'll take a different color pen and try to mug up these two reactions or add. So I'll I'll take all the reactants together. Two Fe plus three plus two electron reactants of this reaction and two I minus reactant of this reaction gives us two Fe plus two plus I two plus two electron. Now whatever be the things. are common like electrons are common so i'll cancel the electrons and we have left with the final equation as 2 fe plus 3 plus 2 i minus gives us 2 fe plus 2 plus i2 and the next step is to check whether the reaction is completely balanced or not so i have 2 iron yes 2 iron 2 iodine 2 iodine let us see the charge 2 into 3 is 6 plus 6 minus 2 into minus 1 so it is minus 2 So that goes six minus two plus four. Here it is two into two. That is plus four. So I can see we have equal number of atoms on both sides, and we have same charge in both sides, and thus our equation is now completely balanced on the basis of this half reaction method. Let us see. Let us discuss one more reaction. How to balance that equation? And the equation, let me take it as Cr two O seven minus two plus Fe plus two gives us Cr plus three plus Fe plus three. This is the equation. And our first step says, first step says that to write the oxidation number above all species. So for chromium, it goes seven fourteen twelve six. So plus six this one plus two plus three and plus three. So our aim is to find out which species undergo oxidation reduction. So since it changes from six to three, so it undergo reduction. It changes from two to three, it undergo oxidation. Now the thing is, once we have identified which species undergo oxidation, which species undergo reduction, now I'll split the equation into two halves. Cr two O seven minus two, which undergo reduction into Cr plus three. This is reduction half reaction. And next we have Fe plus two. Changes into Fe plus three, which undergo oxidation. So this is oxidation half reaction. Now the next step is to balance atoms. So here I'm having two chromium, two chromium. Here I'm having one iron, one iron, which is already balanced. Once we balance the atom, next step is to balance oxygen by adding water to the deficient side. So I have seven oxygen this side. I add seven water to this side. So oxygen is now balanced. After balancing, there is no oxygen this side. After balancing oxygen, next step is to balance hydrogen. So I have 14 H this side. Seven into two, 14. So I have 14 H this side. So I'll write 14 H plus this side. Right. So this is how the reaction takes place. So we are having this, and now there is no H, no O. So reaction is already balanced with respect to atoms. Now the next thing is to balance charge. So let us see the charge on left side. So I have minus two. I have plus fourteen. Fourteen into one is plus fourteen, so it is plus twelve charge. I have plus six charge on this side. So difference is of six. Difference is of six. This is reduction half reaction. So reduction half reaction is addition of electrons. So I'll add how many electrons? Six electrons to the reactant side to balance the equation with respect to charge. Come this side. We have. One iron, one iron, no oxygen, no hydrogen. So we'll move directly to the charge. So I have plus two charge, plus three charge. Okay. So this is oxidation half reaction. I'll add the difference of electron to the right side. And now the next step is since I'm having six electron on left side on one half reaction and two, one electron on another half reaction, what I'll do is just equate the number of electron by multiplying with six so that the number of electron both sides would be. Equal so that we can add these two half reactions on later, later. So six Fe plus two gives us six Fe plus three plus six electron. This is how the equation can be written by adding electron. Now I'm having this one equation, this another equation which has equal number of electrons. All other atoms are completely balanced. So now the next step is to add these two reactions. So net equation comes out to be. Cr two O seven minus two plus fourteen H ion plus 
six electron plus. So I have taken reactant from both the half reactions. Now I'll write the product from both half reactions. So it is two Cr plus three plus seven H two O plus six Fe plus three plus six electron. So product of this reaction and product of this half reaction makes this complete equation. Now whatever be the things common, let us cancel those things. So I have only and only six electron that is common in both sides. And now let us check the equation with respect to atom and with respect to charge. So I have two chromium this side, two chromium this side balance, seven oxygen this side, seven oxygen this side, fourteen H ion, fourteen H, six iron, six iron. So atoms are balanced. Now let us see the charge. So let me write one into minus two minus two charge, fourteen into plus one plus fourteen charge, and six into plus two plus twelve charge. So that comes out to be twenty four. With plus sign. Let us see this case. I have plus six left side, plus six into three plus eighteen right side. Sorry, right side. Plus six plus eighteen. So that goes plus twenty four. So I have equal number of charge on in both half reaction, and thus the, I can say the reaction is balanced with respect to half reaction method or ion electron method. So using this simple step, you can easily balance the equation. I have given two examples. Now you try at least question number eighteen and question number nineteen from your NCERT. And if you find any problem, you can ask me in the comment section. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe the channel.